Muscle Building 101 – A Beginner's Guide to Building Muscle and Increasing Strength Narrated by John Hawks Introduction Why it is so hard to build muscle? Hello and welcome to our short introductory guide on the building blocks of muscle building and increasing strength. If you are like many people, myself included, who have a hard time building muscle, You've tried every supplement and muscle-building workout routine that promise big fat gains, but you're still just as scrawny as the day you decided to start building muscle. Don't worry, you are not alone. Building muscle is hard, and it's something many people struggle with. There are a few reasons why it is so hard to build muscle. The first thing that most people do wrong is approach it with a wrong mindset. To put things shortly, in order to build muscle like you want, you need to create a muscle-building lifestyle and really get your head in the game. At that point, muscle-building becomes something more than what you do when you go to the gym. The other reasons people have a hard time building muscle is that they don't have the right diet and they are not doing the right exercises. What you put into your body will have a huge impact on what your body is able to do, which is why diet is such a vital part of muscle-building. The right exercises, on the other hand, will properly impact the muscles in such a way that they will gain like you want them to. The good news is that even if you have no muscle at all right now, you can gain the muscle you want by starting your foundation off with the advice found in this very book, then move on to more advanced theory and programs depending on your individual goals. Keep reading to find out everything you need to know to get started with muscle building so you can finally have the muscles and body that you want. If you are willing to put in the work, anything is possible. Let's dive in. Chapter 1. My Current Situation The first thing you want to do before starting any type of exercise routine is an evaluation of your current physical state. While there is quite a bit of self-assessment that will go into this, you should also pay a visit to your doctor before you start on your muscle building journey. Why visit the doctor? Visiting your doctor for a health assessment before starting a new exercise routine is important for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, your doctor will be able to tell you if you are physically capable of doing what you are setting out to do. There are some medical conditions that may require you to do modified strength training exercises and your doctor can help direct you in this. The other reason you'll want to check with your doctor before you begin is if you are planning on taking any supplements. While the vast majority of protein supplements are perfectly safe, there are some types of supplement that could interfere with medication or medical conditions, so you'll want to double check with your doctor before starting any supplements. Self-Evaluation Checklist As you get ready to start building muscle, you'll need to self-evaluate your physical state. This will help you know how far you've come when you re-evaluate every week or month. Without this baseline, it would be hard to know if you're actually gotten bigger muscles or improved your muscle-to-fat ratio, so be sure to get as accurate of numbers as possible. Here is a checklist of everything you will want to get for a baseline before you begin. Body weight, body fat percentage, biceps measurement, triceps measurement, quadriceps measurement, calves measurement, waist measurement, chest measurement, bust measurement for women only, Neck measurement, number of push-ups done, number of crunches done, 1 RM for every exercise. 1 RM stands for 1 repetition maximum. This refers to the maximum amount of weight that you are able to lift with just one lift. Because lifting the maximum amount is dangerous, you should instead calculate your 1 RM by doing several repetitions with a weight you are more comfortable with, then use an online calculator to find out this number. Be sure to keep the list of these measurements somewhere that you can refer to often as you reevaluate to make sure that you are on track with your goals. It will also help you to keep these handy when you are setting goals for yourself, so you know so you know how so you know how high to set the bar for yourself based on where you are now. Now that we have set the path towards muscle building and assessed our current situation, the next thing to get in order is our mind our mindset to be a bit more precise, which is what we will cover in the next part. Chapter 2. Getting your hand in the game If you don't believe in yourself, then you'll never reach your goals. 
It's as simple as that. By saying that you can't do something, then you are condemning yourself to failure before you even start. For that reason, the most important step of your muscle building journey is to get your mindset right by getting your head in the game. First and foremost, you need to think of yourself as a muscle builder, not simply someone who does some muscle building exercises a few times a week. This will allow you to live a lifestyle that focuses on building muscle. As your lifestyle revolves around muscle building, every decision you make about what you eat and how you spend your time will help you build muscle. How to set goals Before you really start muscle building, you'll need to set goals for yourself. It's important for your goals to be attainable or else you'll never reach them. More than that, you're more likely to give up before reaching your goals if they're set too high. So, keep that in mind as you start the three-step process of setting muscle building goals. Step 1. Set a 5-year goal. The first goal you're going to set for yourself won't be reached for several years, but it gives you something long-term to reach for that will keep you motivated to keep going. This goal should be difficult enough that it will take you a lot of work over a long period of time to reach it, but easy enough that you will be able to get it in about 5 years. Your 5-year goal is going to look different from everybody else's. It could be to get your body measurements to a certain size, your muscle percentage to a certain number, or your 1RM up to a certain weight. Whatever your 5-year goal, be as specific as possible so you know exactly what you're aiming for. This helps in the long run and right now as you continue the goal setting process. Step 2. Set monthly goals. Break down your 5-year goal into 60 months and it becomes significantly easier to reach. Rather than simply going for one long-term goal, you're now able to focus on just one goal per month. This not only makes the process less overwhelming, but it also helps you feel motivated to keep going as you reach for your goals every month and see your progress much more often. To make things easier, you may want to focus on just one part of your body every month. If, for example, your goal is to reach a certain 1RM for every exercise, make your goal for February to add a couple pounds to your squat. While you should be still working on the other parts of your body, allowing yourself to focus on one per month will simplify your process. Step 3. Set up rewards. What's something huge that you've always wanted but never allow yourself to get for whatever reason? Set that up as your ultimate reward that you will indulge in only once you reach your 5-year goal. That may involve taking a vacation or buying a new vehicle. Whatever it is, set up this reward and it will help you self-motivate. You'll also want to set up smaller rewards at the beginning of every month that you can enjoy if you reach your goal for the month. There should be smaller goals that will keep you motivated during that month. It could be something like going to see a movie at the end of the month or buying yourself something you can add to a collection. Once your goals and rewards are in place, you're ready to get started as a muscle builder. If you are not sure what goals are reasonable, then ask a muscle builder you know to help you set goals. You could also look for online muscle building communities to find out more about what are attainable 5-year and monthly goals. Now that you've assessed your current situation, got the all clear from your doctor and set some clear and precise goals for your muscle building efforts, it's time to start looking at the day-to-day -day things you need to do to see the results you're looking for. In the next part, we're going to look at foundational nutrition guidelines for muscle building. Chapter 3. Nutrition Guidelines for Building Muscle Part of your new muscle building lifestyle involves changes in the food that you eat. Getting the right balance of macronutrients will help your body do what it needs to do in order to build muscle so you can reach your goals. For that reason, we are going to detail the three macronutrients and let you know about how many of each you should be eating every day. Before we get too much into diet, keep in mind that every body is different, and what works for one person may not work for another. That's why these are just guidelines. We recommend that you track your food intake at the beginning of your journey and make changes as necessary until you've established the perfect balance for you. Here are the three macronutrients. Protein. This is the most important macronutrient for muscle building because it's needed to build muscle. Protein is made up of amino acids, 
and it's these that are used by the body to rebuild damaged muscles, among other processes in the body. If you want your body to build muscle quickly and effectively, you need to make sure that you're getting enough protein in your diet. For most people, 30% of your calories should be coming from protein every day. The best sources of protein include milk, meat, beans, seafood, and eggs. If you're worried about not getting enough protein from food, you may consider adding a protein supplement which can help you reach your daily protein goals. Fat There are several types of fat, and getting the healthy kinds will help you build muscle. Fat helps build muscle by aiding in the recovery process. It also aids in a number of processes in the body that keep your health overall, including hormone production and heart health. As you stay healthy by getting plenty of healthy fats, you'll be able to exercise more. Fats should make up around 30% of your daily caloric intake. Focus on unsaturated fats and essential fatty acids, which are both healthy. You can get this from avocados, fish, nuts, and seeds. Saturated and trans fats, which come from vegetable oil, margarine, and animals, should be avoided at all costs as this will only do damage to your body. Carbohydrates. Despite this macronutrient getting a bad rap recently, carbohydrates are necessary for your health and an important part of bodybuilding. These are where you get your energy from, which you will need to get in your workouts. While simple carbohydrates like sugars are not good for you and will promote fat storage, complex carbs will give you the energy you need and actually encourages fat burning. The remaining 40% of your daily caloric intake should come from carbohydrates. This will come from things like whole wheat, bread and pasta, green vegetables, starchy vegetables, and beans. Most of these foods also contain a number of other essential vitamins and minerals that will help you maintain good health. Now that we've covered the foundational nutrition guidelines to building muscle, in the next part we will briefly look at some of the more famous muscle building diets and see whether they are right for you. Chapter 4 Which popular muscle building diet is right for me? With so many muscle building diets to choose from, it may be hard to decide which one is right for you. Whatever you decide to do, maintaining a good balance of macronutrients is the key to promoting general health, fat loss, and muscle building. We've gathered a few of the most popular muscle building diets that can help you reach your goals. Here are some of the most popular muscle building diets. 80-10-10 diet. This diet focuses more on how the food is processed in your body more than what they are so you can easily follow this while still getting the right balance of macronutrients. Whole foods are those that are not processed. Essentially, if you look at the ingredients list and there's only one thing on it, it's a whole food. If it's got a bunch of things you can't pronounce, it's processed and potentially dangerous. For this diet plan, you need to have 80% of your daily food coming from whole foods you enjoy, 10% of your daily food coming from whole foods you haven't tried or don't particularly enjoy. 10% of your daily food coming from whatever you want. Split Meals Diet This diet is simple and it involves splitting up your meals throughout the day. The idea is that it helps keep your body fueled and energized throughout the day. It can also help keep you feeling full so you don't run the risk of overeating during your meal times, which can lead to fat gain. For this diet, Simply split your normal meals into 5 to 6 meals throughout the day plus a couple of snacks. Intermittent Fasting Diet There are a number of health benefits to intermittent fasting which is why many people are starting to participate in it. While there are different schedules you can use, the most common is the 16-8 plan, in which you fast for 16 hours a day, typically from 9 p.m. to 1 p.m. the following day, and eat normally for 8 hours a day from 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. Whatever diet seems right for you, I cannot stress the importance of finding the one that suits your lifestyle best. If you struggle finding the time to eat several times a day, then maybe look at the intermittent fasting. Above all else, when deciding which diet is best, is consistency. Being consistent is what will get you results when on a muscle building diet. In the next part, we'll move on to training and exercises for muscle building. Onward we go! 
Chapter 5 Best Type of Training for Muscle Building There are two basic types of training when it comes to muscle building. Total Body Training and Split Training Total Body Training uses exercises that incorporate the whole body or else multiple muscle groups while Split Training involves focusing on just one muscle group at a time so that you covered your entire body over the course of a week. Although there are certainly advantages to Total Body Training, most bodybuilding professionals and experts agree that split training is the best way to build muscle over the long term. This is because split training allows you to focus intensely on each muscle and muscle group so you can maximize the results of each workout. It also gives each muscle group more time to recover which can limit soreness. One of the most important things to remember when doing split training is that you need to make it part of a daily or nearly daily routine so that you can cover every muscle group by the end of the week. You'll also need to make sure you have your days divided in such a way that you have two to three days in between exercising each muscle group. So that's a brief overview of the types of training most people use to build muscle and increase strength. In the next part, we will uncover a muscle building schedule with the best exercises to perform. Chapter 6 Sample Training Schedule and Exercises when creating your personal training schedule, it's important to keep in mind your personal schedule so you can take rest days when you need them. With this schedule, it's flexible enough that you can take the two rest days literally any day throughout the week, and you can cover the various muscle groups in any order you want. If there is an area that you're focusing on, then it's best to schedule it after a rest day. That way you will have the most energy to be able to tackle that particular area. It's also important to know that the smallest muscle groups that recover quickly, abs and calves, are not given days, but can be tacked onto several workouts throughout the week. Here is a sample training schedule along with several exercises you can do for each day. If unsure of the exercises, I suggest searching them on YouTube and you will quickly see how the exercise is performed, learn exact technique and proper form. Day 1. Arms on this day, you'll be focusing on your biceps and triceps. Your bicep and tricep muscles are responsible for allowing you to lift things and are often what many people focus on when muscle building. This is because your arms are typically the most visible part of your body, so it's the first part of you that people will notice after you've been doing plenty of muscle building. Best Bicep Exercises Barbell Curl Standing Biceps Cable Curl Inclined Dumbbell Curl Concentration Curl, Reverse Grip Bent Over Row Best Tricep Exercises Upright Dip, Bench Dip, Close Grip Bench Press, Triceps Push Down, Dumbbell Overhead Tricep Press Day 2. Legs This day focuses primarily on the quadriceps and hamstrings and would be a good day to add in calf muscle exercises to cover the entire leg. While many people tend to avoid these difficult exercises, it's important to make sure you're exercising your legs as much as the rest of your body, so you have an overall great look rather than looking like Boss Lightyear. Best Leg Exercises Barbell Back Squat Barbell Front Squat Hack Squat Sled Seated Leg Press Barbell Lung Best Calf Exercises Seated Calf Raise Donkey Calf Raise Leg Press Machine Toe Press Standing Calf Raise Standing Reverse Calf Raise Day 3. Shoulders On this day, you'll focus on building up your shoulder muscles as well as your upper trapezius muscles, which are along your upper back and neck area. These are another important area, so make sure that you have an overall great look after muscle building. If you don't do plenty of shoulder and trap exercises, then your bulky arms will look out of place. Best Shoulder Exercises Seated Military Press Standing Military Press Dumbbell Front Race Dumbbell Real Lateral Race Dumbbell Side Lateral Race Best Trapezius Exercises Leverage Shrug Smith Machine Shrug Dumbbell Shrug Barbell Shrug Kettlebell Sumo High Pull Day 4 Chest this day is all about building up those chest muscles and it's also a great day to throw in some extra ab muscle workouts. 
Chest exercises will sculpt your chest muscles and will help you really round out your muscular look, especially when you're getting plenty of abdominal workouts in as well. Women too should make sure they're doing chest exercises. Best chest exercises. Flat bench dumbbell press, barbell bench press, low incline barbell bench press, seated machine chest press, incline bench cable fly. Best abdominal exercises. Machine crunch, hanging leg race, kneeling cable crunch, knee race, plank. Day 5. Back. On this day, you'll work out your back muscles, which can help improve your posture. Having strong back muscles may also help to relieve back pain, but it's important to make sure you're balancing them out with abdominal exercises, since these two groups work together to support your whole upper body. And of course, back exercises will help you look great by sculpting your back. Best Back Exercises Bent Over Barbell Deadlift Barbell Deadlift Standing T-Bar Row Wide Grip Pull-Up Close Grip Pull-Down Days 6 and 7, rest. Taking these two days out of your week to rest are vital for your success as they give your body time to recover and build up your muscle. If you're worried about losing momentum or falling out of the habit of exercising by taking days off, you can schedule in some light or medium intensity cardio during those days, which won't strain your muscles. In the next part, we will delve deeper into rest and recovery which is one of the most important parts of a successful muscle building program. Chapter 7. Rest and Recovery Rest and recovery are as necessary for muscle building as exercise. This is because of the way muscle building actually works. During exercise, muscles are strained and tiny tears occur in the muscle fibers. Then, while you're resting, your body fixes the tears and builds the muscle up more than before in order to ensure they can handle the strain that you put on them. Because rest and recovery are so important, there is a right and wrong way to do it. If you're not focusing on recovery and just doing nothing but exercising for muscle building, then there's a good chance that you're not going to see the results that you want. Recovery starts the moment you finish your final set and ends the next time you start exercising. Here's what you need to do to recover immediately following an exercise routine. Cool down. As soon as you finish your last set, you need to cool your muscles down. After all, they've been worked hard and will need some encouragement to get back to their normal state. Just as you should have warmed up your muscles before you started with some light exercise, it's important to cool down with some light exercise as well. Simply walking for a little while and moving the muscles you exercised should be enough to help your muscles relax and begin the recovery process. This light cardio will also get blood flowing through your body, which should help with the removal of toxins that are released during exercise. Most of the time, you'll only need a 5 to 10 minute cooldown after strength training. Stretch Stretching does a lot more than make you more flexible. It's actually a vital part of recovery for muscle building exercises. Most of the time, you should expect to commit to stretching for at least half the amount of time you were exercising for. This is because you will need to stretch every muscle that you use for at least one minute. When you do strength training, your muscle gets contracted repeatedly. If you return to your business without stretching it out, it will get cramped up and have a hard time returning to normal. By stretching it out, it gives the muscle fibers time to return to their normal length. This prevents a lot of the soreness that comes following a workout. Eat protein. While you should be getting plenty of carbs before your workout, you'll want to make sure you start eating protein with half an hour of your workout. This helps your muscle to start rebuilding themselves. You may also need to include some carbs with your post-workout snack to replenish your supply, but be careful not to overdo it and wind up taking in more calories than necessary. Get Potassium and Calcium Both potassium and calcium are important for the rebuilding process of muscles so you want to make sure that you're getting plenty of both. While you could certainly take a supplement, it's easier, cheaper and better for you to simply eat a banana shortly after workout. If you're getting your post-workout protein in shake form, be sure to toss in a banana or two. Drink water. Although you should already be getting plenty of water throughout the day to keep yourself hydrated and healthy, 
it's especially important to drink water following a workout. The primary reason for this is that your body needs water to rebuild muscle. Equally important is the fact that water helps remove toxins from your body, which you created during workout. Here's what you need to be doing throughout the rest of the day to recover. Sleep 7 to 9 hours every night. Your body does the most recovery and repairs of cells while you are asleep, so it should be no surprise that you need to get plenty of good quality sleep if you want to get the most out of your muscle building routines. While some people can get away with 7 hours every night, some athletes and those who are naturally more active will require 9 hours every night. Find what works for you. More important than just the numbers of hours, more important than just the number of hours you get is the quality of sleep. Even if you're getting in the right number of hours, if you're getting poor sleep, then you'll still wake up feeling exhausted and your body won't recover. Take steps like turning off all electronics at least an hour before bed and avoiding all caffeine after noon so that you can get a great night of sleep. Eat right. We've gone over it in details before, but it's so important that we're going to mention it here again. You need to make sure you're getting the right balance of micronutrients and sourcing them from whole foods every day. Keep in mind that not every meal should be perfectly balanced, since you'll likely need more carbs in the morning to get you going and then more protein in the evening to wind you down. Reduce stress. The physical stress that you put on your body during exercise is what allows you to build muscle. However, if you have a chronic stress from your work or personal life, then this can do some serious damage to your body. When you throw intense strength workouts on top of an already exhausted body, it greatly increases your risk that disease or injury will occur. Now that we've learned how to eat, train and recover, it's time to talk about some of the more common vinegar mistakes and how you can avoid them like a pro, ensuring you make the goals we set earlier in this guide. Chapter 8. Beginner Mistakes to Avoid there are so many mistakes that vinegars make when they start bodybuilding and there are some very good reasons to avoid them. The obvious one is that some of these could cause you to injure yourself, which is something you will certainly want to avoid. Another big danger, however, is that you will learn bad habit in the beginning, which will keep you from reaching your goals. Here are several beginner mistakes to avoid when you begin muscle building. Pushing yourself too hard. The idea of no pain, no gain is a false one and the sooner you get it out of your head, the better off you'll be. People that push themselves until they hurt themselves will find that pain is just pain, and if you push yourself to the point of injury, and then you end up losing out on valuable training time as you wait for the muscle to recover. If your muscle hurts for days following a workout, you went too far. You only need to push yourself slightly beyond your limit until you activate your muscle fibers. Pushing yourself beyond this could cause tearing and muscle damage, which then takes a long time to repair. For some people, getting injured early in their muscle building journey can turn them off from it permanently. Not having a schedule. One of the most important things you can do for yourself is to create a schedule that you can stick with. It will help you know exactly when you're doing what. It can also keep you from making excuses about not having the time to work out. Making a schedule is a process with several steps that you should follow if you want the best chance at avoiding this vinegar mistake. Step 1. Set a time. The most important part of making a schedule for your workouts is to set a time. You need to pick a time that you know you'll be able to work out for the length of time that you need to. The ideal time will be different for every person, so there's no right or wrong time to work out. What matters is that it's set in stone and you don't skip it. Step 2. Plan your routine. You can follow our samples routine that's outlined previously, find somebody else's muscle building schedule to follow, or create your own after doing some research. Be sure that you're not exercising the same muscles too close together and that you're taking at least one full day off from muscle building to rest and recover between workout days. Step 3. Write it in your calendar. Whatever that means scribble it in purple marker on your dry erase board or setting an alarm in your phone labeled exercise time, you need to make sure your workout schedule is somewhere that you will see it. As we'll discuss in more details later, you need to prioritize muscle building, so be sure you've got it written down.
so you'll always be reminded of your commitment. Imbalance The two things that come together to allow you to build muscle are workout routines and diet. If you focus on one but neglect the other, your body will suffer from it. You need to make sure that you're doing both if you really want to get results. You need to be taking the time to exercise, to work your muscles and making sure you're eating good, healthy, muscle-building diet. Bad form. If you want to waste a lot of time to slowly damage yourself and not gain an ounce of muscle, then have bad form. Good form is important to avoid injury, particularly on the joints, and for helping you actually gain muscle. This is where having professional, personalized help comes in handy. A personal trainer will be able to ensure that you will have perfect form. Skipping days. The most common day that people tend to skip is leg day. There is a variety of reasons for it, but the results are the same. You look amazingly muscular from the waist up only, and it makes you look incredibly strange. Never skip a day in your routine. If something does comes up and you absolutely can't work out on a certain day, modify your schedule for that week to make sure you get it in. Go in it alone. If you want professional muscle building results, that means you need professional muscle building help. Rather than picking your own exercises and wasting time trying to figure everything out on your own, you need to either follow a professional program or better yet, hire a professional trainer. Either way, you'll be starting off on the right foot and saving yourself tons of trouble and injury. For those who absolutely can't afford a professional trainer, try to get an experienced muscle builder to help you out. Even if someone isn't a certified trainer, if they have been working out for a number of years, then they can probably provide the help you need to get started and make sure you're using proper form and following a good training regimen. Now that we've covered some of the most common Benninger problems and how you can avoid them, it's time to look to the future, more specifically smartphone apps and technology to further enhance your muscle building efforts. Chapter 9 – Apps and Technology to Enhance Muscle Building In today's world, there are a number of ways that technology can help enhance your muscle building. So if you want to get the absolute most out of every day, you can do so by adding some of these pieces of technology to your life. The best part is that most of them are cheap or even free, so you don't have to spend a lot to enhance your muscle building. Here are a few different apps that can help you with muscle building. Apps for Workouts There is a plethora of apps out there that offer workout solutions, but not all of them are created equal. When looking for a good workout app, you want to find one that is made specifically for muscle building and that will help you get more out of your workouts. Two of the best apps for muscle building are You Are Your Own Gym and Fitness Body. You Are Your Own Gym You Are Your Own Gym is great for muscle building on the go. It provides a number of body weight only exercises so you can literally work out anywhere, making it great for busy people that only have time to squeeze in a few exercises throughout the day. Although it will cost you a couple of bucks, it comes with over 200 video demonstrations of exercises so you can quickly learn proper form. Fitness Body Fitness Body is similar but focuses on providing you with lists of exercises for different muscle groups. That makes it great for someone that's looking for an easy way to try new exercises. It's also inexpensive and will allow you to have instant access to hundreds of exercises to choose from so that you'll never be without an idea of what to do during your workout session. App for Nutrition Since proper diet is the other part of muscle building, you can get even more out of it by getting a nutrition app which will help you track what you eat. Be sure to get one that will help you maintain the proper balance between the macronutrients so that you know you're exactly getting what you need every day. One of the best apps for this is MyFitnessPal. My Fitness Pal. My Fitness Pal is a completely free app that gives you everything you need to create and stick to your ideal diet. There are a few things that this app does that will help you reach your goals. It not only tracks all the macronutrients for you so you can see exactly how much of each you're getting every day, but it also allows you to scan labels and has a database of recipes to choose from. App for Tracking Fitness. Keeping track of how far you've come and how much farther you need to go can be difficult, but the right app can make it easy. 
Jetfy is an app that allows you to enter your goals and track your fitness. You can see exactly how many sets and reps you need to do and how much weight you need to add if you want to reach your next goal, keeping things simple and easy. Here are a few tools that can help you with muscle building. Globe Grips These baseball size grips are made to go on any size and type of weightlifting apparatus. They not only help you improve the strength of your grip, but they can also customize your workout. If you're experiencing shoulder pain while doing presses, this will allow you to have a neutral grip that should solve that problem. Weighted Jump Rope Jumping rope itself is a great addition to your muscle building workout because it allows you to get a great calf workout while providing some blood pumping cardio and some shoulder and arm workout. If you want to get an even better muscle building workout in, then you'll want to get a weighted jump rope set, like the one offered by Cross Rope. In the same way that you increase the weight during your other muscle building exercises, you should be doing the same for jump roping. Fortunately, Cross Rope makes it easy as they offer sets of ropes that you can get in various weights. This allows you to start with a lighter rope so you can work on your technique and then move up to heavier ropes as needed. Foam Rollers There are a number of different types of foam rollers on the market, but they all have the same purpose – to help you recover after an intense workout session. Foam rollers are used by a number of athletes to help alleviate muscle soreness and to increase range of motion in joints. Getting a pair of these and learning how to use them could help you immensely during recovery. Conclusion Making muscle building a lifestyle Congratulations on making it to the end of this short, introductory guide to building muscle and increasing strength. You may be surprised to know that the majority of people who start something never complete it. Take your time and progress at your own pace. This is not a race. The more you understand and comprehend what is happening when you undertake a muscle building course, the better. If you really want to succeed, then everything you do for your body must be with long-term planning in mind. These changes you are making and the training and diet you are following are not meant to be temporary. They are meant to be part of a new lifestyle that you will follow in order to build muscle, increase strength and help keep you healthy. If you are not focused on your muscle building goals, then you are going to have a hard time reaching them. For that reason, you need to make muscle building a lifestyle. As previously mentioned, you can think of muscle building simply as something that you add into your day. It must instead be something that your life is about. One of the ways to make muscle building a lifestyle is to make it a priority. Think of your job. You probably wouldn't skip work just because you don't feel like going in, and you wouldn't cancel meetings with clients simply because you were feeling tired. If you make muscle building an even bigger priority than your work meetings, it will be easy to fit it into your schedule. The other way you make muscle building a lifestyle is in the foods you choose. A true muscle builder is conscious of everything they put into their body. They consider food something that works with your body to build muscle, not simply something that tastes delicious. Recognizing that what food does in your body is more important than how it tastes can help you make better food choices. By putting the two together, exercise and eating, you can set yourself up for success when it comes to muscle building. Rather than just being someone that does occasional exercise, you'll be a muscle builder and before you know it, your body will begin to reflect all the hard work you're putting in as you develop the muscles that you've always dreamed of having. This has been Muscle Building 101, a beginner's guide to building muscle and increasing strength. Now,